Hey everybody, it's Dan at dancefish.com, your friendly fish monger, and today we have an unboxing. So, uh, yeah, let's see what we got. All right, while we're fast forwarding, this was a pretty small order, just one box. That heat pack was kind of warm, a little bit. And let's check the temperature here, see what we got. Uh, 65 and a half degrees, so a little bit cold. That's pretty standard for winter shipping. As long as it's not below 60 or so, things are usually just fine. Yep, 65 and a half. So, box wasn't too cold, but it wasn't warm either. So, kind of had to hurry and get these guys going. These are some uh, Tinwini Danios. They're the gold rings. They're a small fish. These guys are a nano fish. They get an inch, maybe a tiny bit bigger, but not much bigger. The, they are here in with uh, some Chopre, some glow light Danios. So the Tinwini are the ones that don't have that bright orange stripe on them. Unfortunately, they're moving so fast that you only occasionally will get a glimpse of their true color and pattern when they kind of pause. But to the naked eye, they have uh, you know dark spots on them that are surrounded by this bright gold. They're, they're really a neat little fish. I like them quite a bit. And then here we have more of them. That gentleman there is my friend Michael Roberts. He's a photographer, so he's here to take some pictures of the fish because that's pretty cool for him to do. Um, let's see here, what is this one? Looks like this is the same, just the last bag of gold ring Danios. All right. So here we've got some Amazon puffers, sometimes called South American puffers. These are an amazing species of puffer. I love them. They don't get very big. Look at the fat bellies on these little guys. They don't get very big and they're peaceful and they can live in fresh water. So your average puffer that you would find in a pet store, say a figure eight puffer, a green spotted puffer, the common ones, they're pretty feisty. They'll tear each other apart, they'll pick on other fish, so they're kind of hard to keep in a community. And the other thing is they need brackish water. At some point they're going to need to be kept in pretty hard, salty water to do well long term. These guys, these Amazon puffers, they're from far away from the ocean. Uh, he's chasing a scud right there. And so they do great in full fresh water. You don't need to add any salt. And they're a great community fish. They don't pick on each other or other fish unless they can catch them super easy. So great little puffer for a community aquarium. I like them quite a bit. I've had them with guppies and no problems whatsoever. And there's five of them in that 20 long and they're getting along just great. Um, let's see here, what do we have here? These are, I believe, the show prey. So this is basically what we call the glow light danio. And in the wild, it lives in the same water system as the Tinwini danio. So after they went through quarantine, I went ahead and put them together in this tank here. It took me a little while to finish this video. So they've actually been here, no, oh, probably a couple weeks, two and a half weeks now. So it's you're not quite seeing them right after they were unboxed just because I was really busy. But that bright glowing orange stripe on them is kind of brilliant. And they're, they've got some neat subtle pastels on them. They're constantly active. I really like this fish. Another small fish that stays about an inch maybe gets a tiny bit bigger. But not a big fish at all. Now these... <clears throat> oh, just another bag of the Chopre. Okay, so another bag of the Glow Light Daniels. You'll see a... a rummy nose in there and there's some other contaminants these I'm super excited about these are the dwarf dragon goby I've never seen them before never heard of them before but I'm really happy about these guys because they came in looking great now I don't have video of them just because they're hiding a lot so I just wasn't able to get a good video but super excited about them as you can see I was kinda geeking out about them but they're doing great they're healthy and happy I just can't get a good video of them because they don't come out some peacock gudgeons, one of my favorite fish of all time. Love these little guys. Two and a half to maybe three inches on a really, really big one. That water is super cloudy. You can see the black worms swimming around in that water. Here they are in the aquarium. Um, and, yeah, I, I don't know. I, I don't think they're fasted before they're shipped sometimes, and the water just comes in super cloudy. But luckily, you know, I kind of know how to take care of them and help them recover. But... There's a reason I don't think we should take fish that just came and sell them immediately. It takes me a week or two to feel like, okay, these fish have recovered, they've adapted, they've 
fattened up, they're ready to go to their next home. So, um, yeah, that's, that's just why I think it's important if you're selling fish, take some time before you sell them and send them to their next home because they've probably had a little bit of a hard journey. So <laughs> they could use a little bit of TLC. There's a male in a pipe with some eggs that you just saw, which I think is pretty cool. But again, here they are in the, in the tank. They're doing great. Really peaceful, nice, beautiful fish that doesn't bother anybody. Awesome addition to a community aquarium. Um, let's see here. What else do we have here? These are just some cherry shrimp. Just a few of them. And I'm going to you know, start a little colony with these. Basically, I told the uh, wholesaler I got this shipment from, it's like, well, if there's any space left in the box, just throw in as many cherry shrimp as you can. So they got a few. I think there's like 20, 25. Not too many, but enough to start a colony. Here's a couple of the adults. Now, they're in here in an old blackworm culture. So this has been established and going for a long time. There should be lots of food in here for them. Uh, nitrites and ammonia and all that should be totally under control. And I think they'll just explode here within a couple months. I think I'll have just a ton of little shrimp in there. So there's some just scattered all around the tank. I found one here and there, but they've got a nice red color. But, you know, they're, they're a cherry shrimp, a neocaridina. There's nothing super exotic about them, but I like them, and I use them to incubate fish eggs when I'm breeding fish. They do a good job of cleaning the eggs. Here are some more peacock gudgeons. I got a lot of these guys. I think I got about a 100 of them. Uh, because they're one of my favorite fish and they're beautiful and they sell super fast because of all their kind of amazing qualities another bag of them and yeah I mean you know that they aren't fasting the fish when they come with food in the bag there's literally black worms floating around in the bag right so yeah that's unfortunate but we've got them converted to flake food and pellets now so they're really easy to feed this batch uh, they eat frozen and live as well but Oh, these are awesome. These are the dwarf kamaka rainbows. They're a, a blue rainbow fish, and they get that bright stripe from the top of the mouth up to the tip of the dorsal fin that runs up along the top of their head. You'll see it a couple times here as they turn the correct way to the camera. But I've got five of them in this 100-gallon aquarium, and they just love it. They're, they're amazing to watch in a big tank. In fact, generally fish are. The bigger the tank you can give them, just the more interesting stuff you'll see, the, the better everyone does, and just the more fun it is, I guess. You see some, some really cool behavior that way that you just don't see when you keep them in a smaller aquarium. Not that they have to be in a big aquarium. These guys top out at three inches, but in a big tank, they're just amazing. Um, that's it. It's a pretty short video, short unboxing. That's what we got. Uh, hope you liked it. Thanks for hanging out. Bye-bye.